BZ is an online marketplace and delivery app for small businesses here in Israel, similar to restaurant food delivery services, except food is not what's on offer. The aim of the game here is to help small businesses like toy stores, pet stores or electronic stores reach more customers during this difficult time. Now, Georgina Green, founder of the BZ app, joins me in studio now. Georgina, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Now, this app sounds like like a phenomenal idea. I love this idea. Tell our audience a little bit more about it. So the app was created um, during the pandemic. We were looking, we have a successful company called GMT. And I was looking outside the window on the 13th floor and I saw no cars, no shops open, nothing. And I said to myself, this can't be it. This cannot be it. We are a country, we are known to be the startup nation. We are known for our creativity and innovation, and now is the time to be creative and innovative. So Busy was created simply to help the small businesses. We're helping the small businesses survive by bringing them onto a digital platform. The digital platform is really easy to use. It's, the idea is to expand their audience and be able to get more and more customers. This is essentially the idea. So if that's the case, then how does the app make money? <laughs> it doesn't. So this is the beauty and curse for me of the app. It doesn't make money. We are taking 0%. All the money that is collected goes to the delivery drivers. We take 0% commission on the shops. This is... Uh, the either the best idea or the most stupid idea I've ever come across, <laughs> but it will work because at the moment apps are taking up to 27% commission on stores. Now, in my opinion, that's taking advantage of the pandemic and of mm -hmm. the situation. We are taking 0%. So any store can come into our app, sell their produce, sell any product for 0%. And we're not making any money. I'm losing a, a lot, a lot of money from this. But you're doing it for the goodness of the economy here in Israel. Listen, we can all complain that the government's not doing this or that, but we are able to take this into our own hands and we are an incredible country so it's time for us to get creative and take this economy into our own our own hands and creating our own ecosystem this is what we're trying and aiming to do good for you Georgina now tell us a little bit about your personal story and how how you got here and what you attribute your success to I would have to say I attribute my success to my father and mother, of course, um, but 10 years ago I made Aliyah and I went to a Jewish school in London called Emmanuel College and we were told to make Aliyah. This was constantly, make Aliyah, make Aliyah. And I grew and fell in love with this country, with the mines and the, the Balagan and everything about this country. And I worked hard. Straight away I went to high tech, worked hard. Uh, for 10 years we finally established GMT, a successful company, And but my father always told me you have to give back you have to give back what's the point of making lots of money when you have to give back so what I'm going to buy another car I scratch all my cars anyway so what's <laughs> the point so so this is our way of finally being able to give back and you certainly are giving back I think it's an absolutely fantastic initiative what advice do you have for other entrepreneurs wanting to take the plunge and move in the same direction that you went in we are now in the midst of a revolution. We have to go digital. We have to start competing. There is a big competition in the world and Israel has to become a main competitor now. And my recommendation is everyone needs to be online. Everyone needs to be inside an app of some kind. And it's now is the time that we have to start fighting. We are a country that goes through wars and wars. We are more prepared for a nuclear attack than this pandemic. So now let's use this creativity. Let's use use this name. We are the startup nation. Yes, we have to stand by that. So let's get innovative and creative. And there are so many, there's so many young entrepreneurs here in Israel. So many startups we see start and then collapse. Why, why was yours and everything that you touched turn, turn into gold? Firstly, not everything. Let's start there. <laughs> and at one point you just lose fear. What's the worst that can happen? I'm going to fail or I may be able to help a lot of people. And unfortunately, unfortunately, we are a capitalist society and without money, you can't help. So just dive in, just try. And you're gonna fail, okay, you fail, you try again. This is, I think it's pure tenacity. Absolutely. Georgina Green, you are an absolutely fantastic woman and I think that this is a wonderful initiative. Thank you so much for sharing it with us and for your time today. And buy local. Everyone, start buying local. We need to help the economy. Buy local, support the people here. 100%. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Thank Georgina. Thank you so much for having me.